This is Cornus alternifolia, the alternate-leaved or pagoda dogwood. And it's so named because this delicate understory tree has these beautiful layers of branches. One here you can see, and then right above me there's another one, and above me again another one. So it has this very distinctive growth form. But it's also, as Cornus alternifolia, unique in having alternate leaves. Let's take a closer look at the leaves. Here are the leaves of pagoda dogwood, and they are unique among dogwoods that we have in Wisconsin, as I said, by the leaves being alternate. Now, it's subtle, right? But here you have one, two, three, the leaves are alternating each other, not distinctly opposite as with all other dogwoods. This can be a bit subtle. You look at multiple branches and, um, you know, to, to turn it over like this, and you'll be able to tell that these are not truly opposite leaves. The leaves, like other dogwoods, have an arcuate venation, meaning they arch toward the tip. There are about five to six pairs of lateral veins. And the margin of the leaf is entire, meaning it doesn't have teeth. It's just a smooth margin. There's another fun diagnostic for the genus Cornus called the Cornus test. Let me show you how it works. If you take the leaf and gently pull it apart into two halves, and my sticky fingers are sticking to it, and the two halves will be held together by the spiral vessel elements that look like fine threads. In the spring, the pagoda dogwood is decorated with lovely cymes of small white flowers that then develop into these fruits that eventually will turn a blue color. So that's the alternate leafed or pagoda dogwood, the distinctly layered understory tree of Wisconsin's forests.